Okay, so hip flexor stretches. Um, hip flexor, I find them difficult, difficult to feel a stretch through when I do them to myself personally. Better administered by somewhere else, or I think with a release technique using a foam roller or a spiky ball. But the sort of best one I've found uh, that you can do to yourself looks something like this. I, I quite like the vectors for more stretch, the quad stretch, which is in a separate video. But if you, I was gonna do a hip flexor stretch, what I'd do is I'd go into a kneeling lunge position and then I'm gonna kneel forward. I'm pushing forward through my hips like so and I'm leaning back slightly at the torso. And I'm looking to feel a stretch up through this area here. Once I can feel that stretch coming in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this knee sort of forward and up. It's more like I want to bring my knee to my chest, that kind of action. So I'm going to push into the floor through the knee. That's why you want a mat or a cushion or on carpet, because you do this on a hard floor, it's going to hurt your knee. And I'm pushing for 10 to 12 seconds. After that time frame, I'm going to stop, relax. And I'll find I can lunge in and lean back a little bit more. Find that new stretch position and then ease off. So I'm just on the cusp of the stretch. And I'll hang out here for another 10 to 12 seconds. After that time, I'm gonna push my knee again up towards my chest, 10 to 12 seconds. And I'll stop, relax after the 12, and then I'm gonna go forward slightly more. Yeah, find the stretch again, back off, hold it there. So I'm always working just on the cusp. And that's two we've done so far. So my third and final one, bring my knee to my chest. It's the, when I say knee to my chest, I'm pushing it in, but I do like 30, 40% effort. I'm not trying to break the floor. I'll do that for 10 to 12 seconds. Then I'll stop, relax, go in further, lean back further, find that new stretch, ease off, and then hold there at the end for 20 to 24 seconds. And then I'll repeat on the other side. I want to add to it, I can start trying to bring my foot up as well, get a bit more of a back fend, but I find that quite difficult. Maybe you can do it, but I find it more difficult to hold that foot up. And then my quads are, my back fems are very tight as well. But the traditional hip flex stretches, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. That's the best I can find. That's the best I can do for myself. Uh, and that's the one I recommend. But release techniques for a roller with a spiky ball are very, very effective.